Welcome back to another video. It's your girl Angie and today is a um, <clears throat> pretty busy day. I do want to catch up, catch you guys up because I know I haven't done a vlog in a little bit and um, I just want to check in. So first and foremost, thank you guys so much for the support on the video regarding my um, processing of going through a divorce. Um, the love, the outpouring says enough. It speaks enough. It speaks for itself. Um, the support is beautiful. Um, I'm so gracious and so grateful for you guys. I will never take you guys for granted ever. Um, just anybody taking a, a few minutes just to to say how they feel or uh, speak towards my life and speak over me. Even those who praying for forms of rest, restoration. Um, I really want to say this um, so that you guys can understand that not all prayers for restoration is in the best interest of God's will or for certain circumstances. And so although people, I know people mean well when they are like, uh, I pray that you guys, you know, reconcile and, and, you know, get back together and all those things. Although I get it, the prayer for restoration, um, it restoration needs to take place for us to be at a place where our co-parenting is healthy. Um, because right now it's not just being full transparent. It is not healthy. It's not okay the way things are. are. But as far as trying to resume a marriage um, with the circumstances that I'm dealing with, I'm not going to share every little thing that I'm going through because it's not necessary. But the, those who get in, those who are going through, whenever been through something tra um, uh, traumatic or hard as a divorce will understand that not all circumstances um, are grounds to rekindle or reconnect the reality is that he requested the divorce he's getting the divorce because that's his request he has no desire to do anything um to to sustain our marriage or counseling or any of those things and that is the reality of the situation he is more than um wanting this and so we're not going to push anything on someone who is not interested in a union anymore and mutually uh we have settled those things like mutually that's fine i'm granting that his wishes and um it's literally for the best because if you're not gonna do what you need to do as a partner a spouse a man like as a husband or anything like that the work is not that difficult you guys knew that i said he ended up moving back in with me those things didn't clearly uh work out in my favor um and i was still left to figure out life you know, because that's not what his heart's desires was. It was just for... Yep, it was just temporarily for him to get on his feet. And he, in fact, did that. And he moved on with his life. And so, um, with that being said, I am super grateful, super thankful. I am trusting 100% in God's power and his grace and his mercy over me and my children's life. And over his life, um individually i really pray that the things that he's desiring and looking for in his life that he actually gets those things and experience those things and that he really really truly understand that what's in front of you is what's most important and one day that will register but as of right now you got to do what you got to do you got to you got to pick up the pieces and you got to keep moving forward and so when it comes to my ex and the father of my children I wish him literally genuinely the best and I really really pray that God's grace and mercy continue to follow him and that the things that he's passionate about that he actually experienced true happiness and pure happiness and that maybe he will be a little he will be a little more um grateful in the present or being more present um when he get those things and so that's genuinely my prayers and that needs to be the prayer that God helps me take care of my children God helps me deal with every obstacle that is thrown at me when it comes to the children um, and that there is conviction on his part to co-parent healthily. Um, all those things are the prayers that I'm in need of um, because restoring something like that, that repetitively has been tarnished or broken at by the other party, that's not the will of God. <laughs> It's not. And so um, as far as where I'm at, mental health check-in, um, mentally, I am in make it happen mode. I have to make things happen. I allowed him to live with us on the notion of us expanding and, and eventually getting a home and all those things. And so it's not the end of the world. Things happen. 
um, that was never the plan. That wasn't his plan internally. So now I'm adjusting to well, how I moved my finances to accommodate that vision when he didn't have a job. And so life is life. It's not the end of the world. Um, I serve God. And the God that I serve, he is so mindful of me and my children. I am 100,000% trusting in his full plan that everything that happened and everything that I would, I would never share with you guys because it's just out of basic, just simple respect and um, some sense of privacy that the, the battle I'm facing is not for him to be in my life <laughs> other than being the, par the, uh, the, the other parent to my children. That's it. And so when you see me pick this camera up, when you see me pushing out the vlogs and, and, and trying to stay consistent, just know that there is a crazy battle that I'm having, dealing with on the other side because everyone knows the divorce is not fun. It's not what you, the first, you're not desiring at first. I didn't desire it at first. I didn't, I didn't want that for my life or for the kids. But in all honesty, they are good. The kids are actually um, resilient and I believe them having God as their forefront. They they trust in God. My next plan is to get them to church every Sunday. Um, get me a car and then get them to church every Sunday because that's what they desire. And we haven't been able since the breakup. We haven't been able to get to church like we want to because where I live at, it's major highways nearby. I can't just walk them to church and it's not feasible to just Uber to church every single Sunday there and back. Um, so... I'm working on those things. Uh, so when y'all see me have sponsored content and sponsored stuff, just support that because that literally is how the kids have what they have. Literally. Um, I have a couple uh things that, meetings that I have that um, I'm orchestrating to move around so that I can move around easily and get, move on and carry on with the kids' routines and what I'm doing with hair school. So that's an update mentally. I would have to say I am I'm just really like I said I have to make it happen like and when I, I'm gonna be careful with that because it's not me it's God I'm at the place where I'm like I don't know what the heck is happening but I know that God is in control of my life that's who I report to that's who is 100% full authority over my life that he speaks about everything will work all the bad that's happened will work together for the good of those who are called according to his purpose. And I know I'm called according to his purpose. And I know that he is working things out. Jeremiah 29, 11, for, I have, for the plans that I have for you is to prosper. And um, I know that's what God wants for me. And so bet show bottom dollar. I'm going to prosper for the sake of my kids. And they're going to thrive and prosper as well. So with that being said, mental check. I'm, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do and I started by um, incorporating daily vitamins into my diet so that I can continue to keep my mental together um, as I navigate these changes um, trying to get as much rest as possible trying to like pick my battles um, definitely not answering phone calls uh, from the wrong people the wrong energy um, bullies um, those things are the steps that I'm taking. So, um, mentally, I'm in autopilot mode and I got God taking the wheel. Jesus, take the wheel. Jesus, take the wheel. Because at this point, anything that I do in my strength is not going to do what it's supposed to do. And I don't know what the next moment is going to be. I don't know what obstacle is going to come up again. So, at this point, it's best that I let him take full control, full reign over my life. And wherever, whatever happens in that, trusting that this is exactly how he wanted it to play out. And so that's where I'm at when it comes to this divorcing process um, that I'm honoring to my husband. Um, just all around, just trusting that anything that is not for you, you got to trust God enough that it will rid itself out of your life. You don't have to push it out. You don't have to do any of those things. When you ask God to let your will be done, because I've been saying a lot, Lord, let your will be done in my life. When you ask him to let your will be, his will be done in your life, you need to let those things, let it happen. So this is me letting the his will be done because ain't no way he want me to suffer and go through the stuff that I've been going through in this marriage. There is no way. And um, it's just no way. 
my kids deserve a healthy mom, a thriving mom, a mom that is focused on the in the end goal. That's why I went to hair school. That's why I finally going after something that I should have done years ago because that is a skill set of mine. That is a talent. That is a passion. That is something that I've been believing and wanted to do. But I got married young, and um, I ended up having my children, and they were a blessing. They are still a blessing. They are my blessing. They are the best part of me, and I'm gonna give them a good life. I'm going to fight the good fight of faith and I'm going to stand fast and stand firm on the things of God. And that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. And every step of the way, I'm letting God lead me. Um, like I said, I've been taking vitamins. I've been taking the CMOS vitamins and I've been taking uh, vitamin D because, baby, I've been needing it for my mental clarity. I've been needing it for my health, my immune system, the kid's immune system. I told you I had got sick, you guys. I went ahead and ordered me some vitamins from Black Girl Vitamins. Let me show you guys my vitamins and this is how I take them. So with all the stress of everyday life, I knew I needed some vitamins. So I went ahead and went online and ordered me some vitamins from Black Girl Vitamins and... um. I've been taking the vitamin D. Let me show you what I've been taking. So with the Black Girl Vitamins, um, it's black owned and it's clinically tested. And so um, we all know that there are vitamins that are best for more melaninated um, people. Vitamins are not one size fit all. And you, we all know that. And so when I've seen Black Girl um, Vitamins, I've been seeing their vitamins, honestly, for a minute. I've been seeing the ads. I've been seeing it. And I have been looking for different vitamins um, to take because I know that I'm in need as a woman. I need to keep up on my intake. I have a lot of things that require my focus. I've always been a CMOS advocate and I know it's very important to take vitamin B. Um, so when I stumbled on the back, uh, Black Girl Vitamins, I went ahead and got the natural CMOS and I got the vitamin B3. It is, it's all naturally form formulated. So I'll take two capsules of these and then I'll take two of these a day. And this is the vitamin D um, and it's peach, mango, and strawberry flavored gummies. Fire. So Typically, I just take the top off and I haven't taken my vitamins today. I go ahead and I shake two in. Uh, this is the vitamin D3. There's so many vitamins, benefits to vitamin D. I take my vitamin D3 every day and it's two gummies a day and the flavor is amazing. It's peach, mango, and strawberry as I mentioned. And the reason why I went ahead and got me vitamin D because I have been having a lot of stress, right? And life has been stressful. So that's this helps reduce stress when you add vitamin D into your, uh, your vitamin intake. Um, helps reduce stress, helps with your joints, any joint discomfort. Um, it helps boost your mood. It has, it helps with your bone structure. It improves your heart function, as well as reduce inflammation. And it also boosts immunity. And so, my little ones, we've been, I've been taking this so that I can stay well because y'all know I got little ones and little ones. They bring their little germs home. And I was just recently sick, so I was like, I need to go ahead and get my vitamins back in. So, again, I love the fact that it literally is exactly what's important in it. There is no odd ingredients or anything. It literally is the vitamin itself. I got sea moss because i already been uh, hip to sea moss. This uh, is made with Irish moss, bladder rack, uh, if I'm black pepper, and burdock. So, I take two of these. Immunity, which I already told y'all I wasn't feeling well. I needed this. It's 100% vegan and black owned. It helps you get in shape faster and it helps uh, get rid of toxins out of the body. And so I've been, I'm a sea moss girly. I've been a sea moss girly for years. I even uh, give it to my children. And so this right here, I take two. Um, so these two of these get me right this helps me y'all was like uh, a couple people was like i see you're glowing you're glowing not only is this the glow of god but it's literally putting things into my body that i should keeping my water intake high um taking my vitamins because i've had these vitamins for a few weeks now and just it has zinc magnesium in here vitamin a b c potassium these are all included inside of here and so let me go ahead and take it black girl uh vitamins literally I, I don't regret it. This is what the capsules look like. It's two. I'm gonna go ahead and take it. Now I'm a little gangster. I take take vitamins and things like that with zero water, but let's see if I can do it this time. Well then uh-uh. Uh-uh. I'm gonna walk. I'll go ahead and take my vitamin. Whew. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and link I'm gonna go ahead and link them below for you guys definitely check out black uh, girl vitamins because again it's black owned is locally uh, made in the US and it's vegan friendly and all of the good stuff and FDA tested so definitely check them out I'll put the link below and I'll put a special code for you guys there to save some money on them because this right here is honestly been keeping me like mentally just in a good place of clarity um and I was having a little joint pain that's why I'm like I know I'm getting older <laughs> and I'm having a little joint pain in my little knee and my left knee and so I definitely got the vitamin D for that um vitamin D3 and if y'all you guys don't know Mila was born and when she was born she had rickets which is low vitamin D and so I've always kept a conscious um and all, all I had to do was just increase my vitamin D intake because I breastfed and I didn't have any additional supplements for vitamin D so vitamin D I understand the power of vitamin D3 I do and so I had to give my daughter finally Lysol and like vitamin D food that were higher rich in vitamin D for my daughter's uh strength and she was just fine so she's developed fine no pain no issues but I always subconsciously in my mind keep that into their diet as well as into my diet because I wasn't producing enough to give to her when I was nursing her and that was her sole um nutrition of course when I had the boys I already was on on when I realized that I already was already on a, a vitamin D supplement to compensate for what they wasn't getting in the breast milk and so my breast milk and strengthened with the vitamin D they were able to develop just as they should and they're all fine no developmental problems or anything like that but Mila did have uh, rickets which is low vitamin D and her father had it as well as a baby so I definitely Team Vitamin D, Team C Moss. These are my two favorite vitamins. And so I definitely will link them below. And thank you guys so much, Black Girl Vitamins, for sponsoring a portion of today's video. So what is, this is our agenda for today. So I am starving. <laughs> Number one, I need to go to the grocery store and all of that. Whew. So two things. Um, I need to, so let's go ahead and let's go check the mail because I got a couple packages that's supposed to be delivered. Um, and I got a notification. So let's go see what we got in the mail. Um, and then after that, we're going to go and grab some breakfast because I am starving. And then we have to get to hair school. I took my exam on yesterday, got an 83 on my written exam. And that's a pat on my back because honestly, I didn't really prepare like I could have life be life in, you know. So let's go ahead and let's finish the rest of this vlog. But I just want to do a mental check in and let y'all know that I am in fact okay. And I'm 100% confident in what God is about to do. And I'm excited for every last one of you who are part of this family, who have decided to join today, who've been here, who just started joining. Um, I'm excited for what is coming and I got more information for you guys that's coming up regarding the creator's event workshop brand partnership it's like a uh my first brand trip <laughs> so let's go come with me let's run some errands so i'm here getting my package i got two and it like opens up So I'm gonna go ahead and open it. This is for the kids because I have a special announcement for the kids and I'm excited for them to to um do this. And I think these two are together. Let me get a knife one second. Oh my gosh, when the kids see this, they're going to be so ecstatic. Uh, I'm going to save this for... I'm going to take this about. I'll show y'all that later. 
so give me the box. Then I have this big old box, this big old package. My other package, the thing, machine is broke. I gotta go back down there and open that box, have them open it manually because um, it will click like it's gonna open and it don't. So I got another package. But, um, oh, y'all heard it? This, it says fragile handle with care. I don't know what this is, honestly. So let's. Right. I have no idea what's in this box. It is hot on time. Oh my gosh. This is all the kids packages. Hold on. Okay, packages are definitely for the kids. Oh my gosh, it's like it's Christmas. <laughs> oh, wait till I show the kids. Oh my gosh. So, Mila has a partnership with Little Live Pets. So, this is Mila's. I cannot wait to surprise her. She's about to flip. Look at this, and she always loves cats. Mila wants a cat so bad, but I am super allergic to cats, so that is not an option. <sighs> so this is Mila's. They sent me so much stuff for her. Look at this. This right here <laughs> is Minnie's uh, live pets. This. But it's so funny, they said fragile, and look how big this is. It's heavy. This is so cool. It's a surprise pet. Oh, 25 sounds. Mila is about to flip. Now, this is a really exciting partnership. And I'm just a special thanks to my little live pets. Oh, my gosh. Here's my sea moss spot because I'm about to take them. I just took my body with yeah, I gotta talk over the uh, stuff, but basically I'm currently uh, working on uh, the rest of this video. <laughs> I'm sorry y'all look so beat up. I need to get my hair done. Um, about to drink this caramel macchiato, but it's a lot of loud music, so I won't stay long. But I just wanted to wrap this video up. Basically, I just run an errands, get some done, gotta go to school, um, working, just a lot going on. And so mental health check, I am uh, definitely taking it a day at a time and um, I gotta update you guys uh, regarding the children. They're fine, um, but I had got an email today because <clears throat> the kids are with their dad, and I got an email that Liam has hand, foot, and mouth disease. He um, and so I don't even know how to begin that process or whatever. So I just wanted to add this part in there. So I'm clearly he's gonna have the quarantine, to keep the kids good. He went to the doctor, so I'm just, it's just a lot. <laughs> Pray for me, y'all. Pray for me.